Taylor Swift is hiding a dark secret. Can you see it? Take a closer look. First things first, happy Pride Month, everyone. <laughs> And you can want who you want, boys and boys and girls and girls. Tell us what inspired the song. I live in Tennessee. I am Christian. I am Christian. Taylor Swift is the most popular female singer today. She has 11 Grammys, over 600 awards, and has amassed over 450 million followers on her social media. She calls herself a Christian, but if you were to look at her life, would you be able to tell the difference between her and the world? Taylor is spotted at the Super Bowl, supporting her boyfriend and NFL star Travis Kels. She is seen cheering and having a good time with her friends. And although the media is talking about the support she has for her partner, there is something much more sinister that people are missing. Her friend Ice Spice, who she supports, is a secular rapper who makes music that is explicitly sexual, impure, and unholy. If you look a little bit closer, you'll notice that she is wearing an inverted cross, which is a universal symbol that mocks our Christian faith and our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And at one point, she is seen throwing up satanic hand signs. Brothers and sisters, you are called to be in the world, but not a part of the world. The Bible says that we are citizens of heaven. We are not called to follow the world or love the world. Yet Taylor Swift, time and time again, shows that she is okay with having friendship with the world, without any real evidence of her sharing her faith. We can't be bound together because our kingdom is a kingdom of righteousness, light, Christ, believers, and God. The kingdom of the world is lawlessness, darkness, belial, unbelievers, and idols. You can't have any binding together. You can't have any partnership. He uses all these words. You can't have any harmony. You can't have anything in common. You can't have any agreement. I have many non-Christian friends and I love hanging out with them, but I do it with the intention of sharing Jesus, calling them to repent from their sinful life and rebellion against God, and to trust in Christ as their only hope and savior. We can see that Taylor Swift has no problem blending in with the world and doesn't seem to show any discomfort with the things that God hates and despises. What is even more disturbing, Taylor Swift is a herald and an advocate for the LGBTQ community. I just believe very firmly that everyone should be able to live out their love story without fear of discrimination. And the way for that to happen is for us to continue to keep pushing governments to put protections in place for members of the LGBTQ community, and I promise to always advocate for that. One of the most rebellious things you can do against a God who gave you life and breath and created you in His image for His glory is to pervert it and to call it something else. Yet Taylor Swift has no problem supporting the satanic and lost group. The LGBTQ community represents everything that God despises and stands for. What does light have to do with darkness? Moreover, just like her Friend, she creates music that is highly sensual, immoral, and worldly. Look at one of her most popular songs that has 1.4 billion views. She is dressed up as an evil zombie, has snakes that represent evil, sin, and murder crawling all over her throne, and is wearing them as jewelry. To add, she is constantly promoting worldly and feministic views, where women don't need men, they need to be independent, who can do whatever they want with their bodies, and they can be their own rulers and gods. Does this face look like someone who is a follower of Jesus? Is this the example that she should be setting for the billions of fans she has all around the world for our Christian faith? She thinks that she has the spirit of God in her, but it seems like she has the spirit of Jezebel. What is most shocking and disheartening, if you were to ask Taylor Swift, are you a Christian? She would adamantly say yes. In this video, she is seen in tears, proclaiming that she is is a Christian, yet her life looks nothing like it. And see her disguising these policies behind the words Tennessee Christian values. Those aren't Tennessee Christian values. I live in Tennessee. I am Christian. That's not what we stand for. This is why we know that people who profess to be Christians but whose lives look just like the rest of the world are deceived. 
All kinds of people who supposedly made a decision, prayed a prayer, signed a card, walked an aisle, accepted Jesus into their hearts, but their lives don't look any different. They say they're a Christian, but the reality is they don't know this Christ. Because when you know this Christ, everything begins to change in your life. Jesus says that you will know that someone is a Christian by their what? Fruit. Taylor Swift thinks she can enter the narrow gate by Broadway living. Our King and God Jesus tells us that many people in the end times will be deceived. I share all these things out of a desperate plea for her to turn from her rebellious and sinful life and to run to the throne of grace while there's still time. I admit, I used to be the chief of sinners. I used to live a worldly lifestyle. Yet God, being rich in grace and mercy, rescued me and can rescue her if she is willing to put her faith in Christ. You want to know how that one man dying alone for a few short hours on a tree can save a multitude of men from an eternity in hell because that one man is worth more than all of them put together. You take mountains and molehills, crickets and clowns, you take everything, every planet, every star, every form of beauty, everything that sings, everything that brings the light, and you put it all in the scale, and you put Christ on the other side, and He outweighs them all. He outweighs them all. To Jesus alone be the glory. God bless.